Good morning, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel, and to those of you who have been joining us recently on uh, the American Gunsmith site uh, on uh, YouTube. Welcome to all of you. We're back in the old singing gunsmith shop. That's me, the old singing gunsmith. Um, and I'm working today on uh, a Stevens 44. This is the rifle that I talked to you folks about uh, that I bought on an online auction that turned out not to be quite everything I had hoped. So uh, today what, what I'm doing is I'm going to cut a dovetail in the barrel for the front sight, but I'm not going to do it with a milling machine. This is for all of you beginners and you hobbyists who don't own milling machines uh, to show you how we cut a dovetail in the barrel for the front sight by hand. So if you're uh, not, uh, uh, haven't invested in a uh, mill, uh, this, is, this is at least my way of doing this uh, job. So we're going to come over here to our uh, sanding disc and we're going to uh, uh, grind the uh, teeth off of one side of the file to make that side safe. What we've done is we've managed to take the sharp teeth off of this edge of the file and now it will not cut, not cut on that edge, yet it will still cut on the bottom edges. It won't cut on this side, it will cut on the bottom edges. Okay, so now we have a safe file that will cut dovetails for us. Um, uh, if you noticed, I was holding it onto the uh, disc with my fingers because I do not want to make this so hot. I draw the temper of the file. So by holding it on with my fingers, every time it gets warm, I take it off and let it cool, and that way I never draw the temper. Okay, let's go back over to the bench and start cutting our dovetail. Now, I want to cut the dovetail into the top of the barrel, and the first thing we want to do is say we know we want it to be 380 thousandths wide, so we take and put some uh, steel blue Dicom steel blue on there, and we can brush that on the barrel. Let that dry. Decide how far back from the muzzle we want that sight. Now the sight has got an extension out the front, and we're going to leave this part back towards the uh, back of the receiver so that uh, it is a nice reasonably flat side and doesn't uh, uh, reflect a lot of light. If you put it on this way, some people feel like it should go on like that um, because it looks like a ramp on a, a more modern gun and that's wrong because this whole uh, face here is going to reflect the light. So what you want is you want it on this way so you have a nearly flat um, surface for the uh, for to look at and it doesn't reflect as much light it stays darker and it's easier to spot now I have the original part of the barrel that was cut off and this was originally very close to the uh, uh, muzzle it was uh, a mirror three hundred five thousandths back I'm going to go nearer to four hundred thousandths from the muzzle and mark that in the in the steel blue. That gives me a line that I can refer to. Then we know we're going 385 thousandths. So I'll we'll double check that again. Where's that sight? There it is. I'm going to make sure we that is correct. Sorry, 370 thousandths is the width of the top of the site. I don't know if you can see that or not. 370, oops, 370 thousandths is the width of the top of the site. So we're going to mark 370 thousandths on here from that front line to the back line. So now I've got two lines I can see. I don't know whether you can see them in the on the video or not, but on the top of the barrel, 
we have two lines that we're going to cut a slot in the barrel in order to cut our dovetail. So let's get this back into here. And by almost happy circumstances, width of our file is very, very close to what we want the width of this dovetail to be. Now we go up to the top and try and get it as close to top dead center as we can and start. <laughs> Shouldn't cut with a safe edge, Paul. It's not going to work that way. And very carefully, we get started. Now, all of you guys who are machinists, have substantial shops, are going to understand that you can do this a lot faster and easier using your milling machine and a dovetail cutter. Uh, this is really aimed at the hobbyists and the guys just getting started that uh, don't have that kind of equipment and probably never will in many cases because uh, they've got wives and <laughs> children and car payments and house payments and everything else and they're hobbyists and want to work on their own guns or maybe their friends guns or do like I'm doing now in retirement and that is to work on uh, guns that I am interested in and that need some things done to them. So rather than spending thousands of dollars for equipment, they need to learn how to do these things by hand. So here we go. Now eventually what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and cut this down to the thickness of the site, which is 108 thousandths. So we're going to, uh, let's see if I can get that on there. It's pretty hard to, oh, here it is, uh, 108 thousandths thick. So we're going to want to go down on this slot to a depth of 108 thousandths, and then we'll undercut it for our dovetails. All right, rather than have you stand here and, and watch me file for the next however long it takes, I'll come back when it's done and we'll show you what it looks like. Now, let me reiterate something here. This is not how this job is done professionally. If you are in business and you are charging people to cut dovetails, you're going to have to have a milling machine. Uh, it will save you time. It will uh, be a much more professional job. What this does is it gives the amateur the self-taught hobbyist, the guy learning how to work on guns, a method of cutting a dovetail in his gun and uh, still getting the job done with hand tools. Uh, it's not particularly efficient. It's not uh, uh, particularly professional. What it is is teaching you, first of all, to use a file and do some precision work with a file. And it's uh, going to give you a dovetail in a barrel without any fancy equipment. I uh, try and make sure that I take my videos and um, tailor them to those starting out. I mean, you professionals out there, you already know how to do this stuff. You've been to school, you've got uh, um, experience, you've been in the shop for years. You don't need to, to know how to cut a dovetail, you know. But the new guys out there who have never done it and don't know that it can be done without an investment in a milling machine might find this a, a valuable uh, lesson on how you too can cut a dovetail. Now I told you this had to be 108 thousandths deep and that's going to take some time so I'm not going to show it all to you. But if I turn this on, make sure it's zero, and I can measure the depth. Right now we're at 31 thousandths. We've got a long way to go. Okay, so this is going to take some time, and uh, while you're doing this you might also occasionally check by putting your uh, sight in, and I put the back of the sight on at, uh, on the um, edge here. The front of the site is of course hanging over the edge because this is the 
uh, width of the top, not the wider bottom. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to put it on the edge. I'm going to look down the barrel from the uh, uh, breech end through the sights to see whether or not this is straight, left and right. Uh, so if it's sitting here at a slight angle this way, I can cut on this end before I get down to the full depth. By the time I get down to the full depth, I need to have that slot absolutely flat and um, lined up with the dovetails for the rear sight. So you go slow, you take it a little at a time, you check a lot, and you continue cutting until you have a two depth and aligned both left and right as well as the angle so that it's square and it's not sitting there at, on an angle to where you're looking at a, a tilted sight. So you keep cutting and you check as you go. Now as you can see we have a nice square slot cut in the uh, muzzle of the barrel that is going to allow us to put our sight in as soon as we undercut it. Now we're going to take our file and we're going to use the safe side of the file down in the slot so that we can undercut the edges and make our dovetail so that the sight will slide in. Now from this point on we would have to be very, very careful because, of course, this is an interference fit. So if we open it too much, it's going to slide right through and it's going to fall off. So at this point, it's a lot of fit and try. Pull it off. You use the safe side of your file down. You cut either side of the... Whoops. Either side of the undercut here. Take a few strokes. Oops. Put your sight back on. It's starting to slide in here. And still a little tight. But getting very close. As a matter of fact, that's real, real close. That's pretty much where we want that. So now we're going to make some room to drive it in all the way. And there you have it. A front sight that's been fitted to the barrel and a dovetail that's been cut by hand. This is the old singing gunsmith saying one more time, happy trails. Thank you very much for watching. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.